Hey, Doug, I'm sorry for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily, and today is May the 9th. It's Wednesday. Hump day. Got all those good things going on. Uh, yesterday on our free picks, we split them. We went two and two. Uh, but the big news of the day, at least for VPID members, was that we went 5-0 and oh in Major League Baseball last night. That's right. Five and zero in Major League Baseball. So we had a fantastic day as VPID members cleaned up. It was all, it was great. It was a lot of fun to do. A lot of positive responses from members. So that was that was excellent across the board. Hey, and you know what? You can become a VPID member yourself. Thirty nine ninety nine a month is all it's going to cost you. You're going to get my place, which I'm one hundred six and seventy. I've one hundred seven and seventy three of late uh, on all plays across the board. Uh, up up over twenty eight hundred dollars on hundred dollar bets. So that is excellent news. Uh, if you want to become a member, and you can certainly uh, do that uh, and become one, because as I as I keep saying, and I'm not going to stop saying, the idea behind becoming a VPID member is not just about my picks. Of course, of course, winning is important with what I do, but it's also the information that you're going to get. So check it out, $39.99 a month. That's all it's going to cost you. Now, today we have six, six, six free picks for you today. Uh, and we're going to compass baseball and the NBA today and tomorrow's big game seven in the Stanley Cup playoffs. So we're going to get to all that. So let's start with Philadelphia and Boston on TNT at around uh, eight o'clock tonight. Now, Philadelphia opened up as a minus one and a half point favorite and have been flipped to a one point underdog, which is now the first time in this series that the Celtics are actually a favorite, despite the fact they lead the series three games to one and generally have outplayed Philadelphia in almost every instance, you know, up and down the line. Now, the uh, Celtics defense has been just flat out sensational. And, and here's a good example as to why. For the season, Philadelphia is shooting 46.8%. Okay, Now, if the best shooting percentage day or game Philadelphia has had is 43.5%. So that's on average, or not even on average, their best performance is 3% lower uh, 3% percentage points lower than their best game shooting so far in the playoffs. So what direction does this look like this is going to go? Let me see. Boston at home playing fantastic defense as a small favorite against Philadelphia. Yeah, I think we're going to go with Boston here. 76% of betters also agree with me on that one. Now, it's a crummy game, but we got Kansas City at Baltimore because there's a line move. Uh, last night, uh, uh, Dylan Bundy's performance, uh, I should say performance, was epic, okay, as it was the first time since 1900, which is the modern times of baseball, uh, let's just say in terms of how they look at statistics, so that's only 118 years ago, that a guy gave up uh, four home runs and never retired a batter. In all, Kansas City hit five home runs in their 15 to seven win, and so because the after being 20, being 28th, I think 28th in baseball and hitting home runs, that I think they might have moved up just a little bit uh, with with their performance last night. So the total in this game has gone from nine to nine and a half, and I'm just before I went and started this video, I've even started to see a few tens uh, pop up. Now the Orioles also though last night hit uh, they hit. Uh, when they hit three home runs themselves. Uh, so I'm looking at this game, you know, let's be honest. Eric Scrudlin against Adam uh, Andrew Kashner, that just screams runs. Let's go with the over on that one. 84% of betters are also going to do that. Take the over. Boston at the New York Yankees. That's going to be your ESPN game tonight. Big surprise on that one. Now, the Yankees are hotter than an Instagram model at, at with a 16-1 record of late, and, th and that is their finest 17-game uh, stretch in 65 years. Wow. So with that in mind, but yet, what happens? The line has been coming down on the Yankees. 20 cents from 165 down to minus 145 on this. Now, as to trying to figure out as to why, well, part of it is that Rick Porcello uh, for Boston has been moved up a day to take David Price's place in the starting rotation. Porcello was supposed to go on tomorrow, Thursday, uh, on that. So that certainly is is part of the the biggest, li that's the lion's share of, is of the lion movement there. So we have to consider, uh, have to consider that. And Porcello is back to pitching like he did 
did in 2016. In fact, I think he's even pitching better right now than he did in 2016 when he won the Cy Young. Along with this, then, the total has slid from nine to eight and a half, I think that uh, being partly a function of Parcello uh, pitching as well. Now, uh, Tanaka is going to go for the Yankees, and he's uh, his ERA is, I think, 4.4 right around there. But in his last three starts, his, his ERA is 241. So he's been on top of his game as well. So I'm looking at this. I'm not going to get in the way of this Yankees Express right now. I know that uh, 73% of betters are taking Boston, but I don't. I have no hero pick in me on this one. I'm going to stick with the Yankees just for a lane, and I think the under is going to be the better play overall on, on this game. Next up, Atlanta at Tampa Bay in interleague action. Now, we got a flipped favorite in this one. Uh, Atlanta opened up as a minus 115 favorite, and they ha are now a plus 105 underdog. Now, after a lousy... By the way, I completely disagree with the line movement on this. Now, after a lousy start, Julio Tehran, in his last five outings, has an ERA of one point... Uh, did I, I think I said five. If I didn't, I meant to. In his last five outings, Julio Tehran has an ERA of 1.5... 1.86, excuse me. Um, so he, he is... Now pitching, like many thought he should, up to his potential. Whether he's a true ace or not, that's for others to decide, but he is pitching like one at the moment. Now, Tampa Bay is still searching to find lefties, uh, excuse me, to find pitchers, period. Uh, they don't have enough starters to go around. So Ryan Yarbrough is going to get another shot at it, and he hasn't been awful. Uh, he's got an ERA of 3.33. He started, I think, once or twice uh, this season, most, but has mostly pitched in relief. And essentially, they're just, you know, this is like a tryout for them. I don't know what they were doing in spring training, but, you know, and they've had some injuries, the Rays have, but, you know, not getting the job done. And the other reason that Yarbrough is going to get a start is because of the Braves' lefty, heavy um, lineup. And last night, it, it worked pretty well for, for uh, Tampa Bay because they only gave up one run um, with, um, uh, the, the name slips me now, the pitcher for uh, Tampa Bay, um, the, but Tampa Bay pitcher's left-handed. But he uh, they pitched well, only gave up one run. Problem was, Rays never scored. So one nothing shutout. I think Tehran is going to be, on, continues to be on top of his game. I think he can lock up. This the Braves offense, and I think the Atlanta offense will also score enough runs to become the winner. Now let's move ahead to th tomorrow, Thursday, and see what we got with Winnipeg uh, taking on Nashville, Game 7 of that series. Uh, it's going to be on NBC Sports. Now, the money line hasn't moved hardly at all. Nashville's the favorite. But there's been action on the total. Now, it opened, at, it opened up at 5.5 minus 110 to the under. It has gone up 15 cents to minus 125 on the under. Now, thus far in the series, the total, like the series, is squared up three apiece, uh, three unders, three overs. Now, conventional wisdom, I would think, would suggest if Winnipeg is going to win, that you're probably going to get an over. And if Nashville's going to win, that you're going to get an under uh, on this thing. Now, the road team has won four of the six games. So in terms of what the side's going to be right now, I have no opinion whatsoever. But I do know this. The Jets, they're 9-1 and one under on the road. If they're coming off, uh, if they're revenging, excuse me, a, a uh, loss by four or more goals, and the Predators are 11-2 and two under themselves at home, alpha win by three or more goals, I'll go with the under on that. Side. So, hey, that's Doug Upstone for Vegas Pro Insiders Daily. VPID memberships start at $39.99. And if you're uncertain, you can test drive it for $7 for seven days to see what people, they do that all the time. And they stick around uh, for months on end. And, and in some cases, it's been years on end. So check check that all out. Doug Upstone, Vegas Pro Insider Daily. I'll be back Friday. As of right now, I am out.